This time we're doing it in my studio. Uh, hi, uh, Wayne White here again, and uh, I'm going to do a, another uh, wa uh, watercolor for you. Um, and this time we're doing it in my studio because all, all the things that I need are in here and it wouldn't work outside, but we'll, we'll attempt it. Now, I've been doing, uh, uh, heretofore I've been doing mostly landscapes, but now, now I'm going to do, uh, do a dog. Now, I have pets, a dog or a cat, I'm trying to show you uh, an easy way to, uh, to, uh, to paint your, your dog or your, or your cat, whatever you have. So, uh, here, here's a, a, um, a painting I just did of this bulldog uh, to, get, to get me in practice and now and now I'm going to do a painting my son's dog up in Alaska and um, is, this, is this in the uh, the Sugash Mountains anyway they were they were on a hike up in the Sugash Mountains my son and my grandson who's also uh, shooting a video of this, and he made a print from the to do, uh, and, and, and uh, a very easy way to start, <clears throat> you're going to paint your, your, say your dog, an easy way to start is to get a print, get a, make a larger print of, of, of your, your pet. Um, um, there are all kinds of making a, draw, a drawing of, of your uh, of your pet to begin with. Uh, if you have a a, a, a projector, you, you can use a projector to project it up on watercolor paper any size you want, or you can uh, do the old square method where you you, you, you divide the, um, the, the the photograph into squares and then you draw. The same size squares on your watercolor paper, and then, and you can easily draw the uh, the image of your pet. E easy way. If you have a light box, I I do have a light box, not a lamp, or or you can you use use the window. You can get the sun in the window, so you so you can see the image. Use my my lamp like this. I'm I'm not concerned about. The landscape. I'm gonna. I'm, that's gonna be separate. I'm just going to do a rough drawing to figure that figure that out what I'm painting. But I want to get the the main part of the dog. Probably help to to tape this on the lamp, but. This is quite good. I, I want to do it. The, 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 the drawing of, of, of the dog now, I didn't... Hmm. You know, what I, I, sh I should really put in... I'll put in the eyes. Make, make, make it easy on me. The eyes. In, in, in Alaska, in July, there would be these mountains back here would be covered with snow. But in a dry year, even for Alaska, because there's not there's not a lot of snow on those mountains. Put a lot of snow in those mountains. When, when I when I get to it, it's very rocky terrain. That's, that's enough, I just want to... It would be nice to get these wildflowers in there and maybe we'll maybe I'll put some over here. Some uh, yellow, yellow ochre. It's not quite so yellow. Then I'm going to... Put a wash of, of that on the
Then we're going with the right drawing. Because no matter how good you think your painting is, if the drawing is not accurate, it's not good, it's not good. Your pit's not going to be happy. With this method, with this method, you're going to you're going to start with a proper drawing. The rainy sky was it raining up there, Kevin? I'll, I'll dab this in so I'll, I'll know where to put them. Want to uh, I want to leave some white. So I've got my first wash it on. And the uh, base color. Now, now it has to dry. I'm gonna use my hair dryer to speed up the drawing, but my hair dryer is not working for some reason. For that, these don't always work. Okay, we will start up here with, with the ears. One thing about pets, you always have to work from a photograph because they're not inclined to sit and pose for you for long enough to paint them. So, lots of photographs. And pick the one that you like the best and do it. A real Alaskan dog, isn't he? Yeah. Acting <clears throat> because you you want the dog to look, to look like to look like the dog he is, and that's where you have to be. When you come down to the details, you got to be pretty careful. If I don't, <clears throat> if, if, if if this doesn't look look like. When I finish, if it doesn't look like Yuki, he's going to be very upset. I'm going to stop right here. I, I've got, I've, I've, I've got to pretty much of it, all the basic parts finished. Uh, when I come back again next time, I, I've got to work on the rocks. I have to finish up the dog, and um, just uh, finishing things. But the essential drawing. Uh, uh, essential painting is here and uh, I hope this gives you an inspiration to paint your own dog. So uh, until I see you next time, this is Wayne White saying so long.